Hey, welcome back everybody. What's going on? <clears throat> is this a foil earth or what? Why is the what? So this guy was working. Welcome back to another modern cube draft, by the way. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the final cube drafts as uh, tomorrow Dominaria comes out. Unfortunately, you'll be watching this on, I believe, Tuesday. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to affect things. So yeah, this guy was fine yesterday when we drafted. And now apparently he has a red and gold border. That's interesting. Inkai is also legendary, but does not have the border. So that's weird. Huh. It's very strange things that are going on. I like Jace Beller in here. <clears throat> Hmm. Why not just change it on all the cards? I'm probably going to go Jace Bellerin. I like Glenelinger Archmage. I really do. <clears throat> God, I like Karanos so much. <clears throat> Such a strong card. We could go Mono Jace's and play Jace Friends Prodigy. My problem with that is that Jace is very, very fragile. He dies very, very often. I would I would take Karanos over Chandra here. Um, are there any legendaries in here? Uh, Karanos is legendary, and this would look sweet with the border on on him. So would Jace Friend's Prodigy. This is a newer card. So yesterday, didn't Pia and Kieran Nalar have it? So Pia and Kieran Nalar are from Magic Origins. And they did not have the border. Jace is also from Magic Origins, and so is Kithian, and they don't have the border. So, Pia and Kieran Alar are also in the dual decks Elves versus Inventors, so maybe that's the one they put in the cube? That seems weird. Avacyn's a newer card. She doesn't have the border. I could have sworn. I think it is Karanos. Karanos is just very, very strong. <clears throat> uh, well, this pack is leaves something to be desired. I like the legendary border a lot. We we were looking at it yesterday. I could not stop raving about it actually enough because it looks great. <clears throat> um, I think it is Pact of Negation, which is a scary card. I also like Cultivate and I also like Duplicant. I just think they all should have the fancy new border because I think the border looks fantastic. I almost like Cultivate to be uh, blue green and then splashing the red. But we're just going to go Pact of Negation. I feel like that's the safer pick here. See? And then Barrel has it. Look at that guy. That looks great. I think... I oh God, I love it so much. God, you guys are going to be like, he can't shut up about it. It's unbelievable. I think I like Search for Ezkanto over Barrel. Why wouldn't you like the new border? What is it? Why not? That's so weird. I think it looks great. Look at this. I know this is a legendary creature. It stands out so much. It's elegant. It's it's pleasing to the eye. I don't understand. I think it's Search for Ezkanta here. Okay, let's say let's say I'm gonna go along with you, Brickbeard. Let's say it does look like that. I think it does look like someone bit the top of it off. Who cares? <laughs> Why does that matter though? Like I don't this like this looks great. I I can't get over it. Yeah, like Lin Linvala has it, and Linvala is an Oath of the Gatewatch card. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't understand the rhyme or reason here. Well, Una does not have it. I don't get it. Yes, it's only legendary creatures. What would search? Search? What would search have? What is search? Search is not a legendary creature. Yeah, it can't wear a crown. So, I don't think I care about this guy. I think I'd rather just take the Soren. Is that weird? Probably. All right. Well, I didn't mean to take it, but we're taking it, I guess. I was also tempted to take the Una. I think the Una would, would probably be the pick there if we didn't if we didn't <coughs> actually take this <coughs> Soren. If we didn't unintentionally intentionally take this Soren, I'm gonna take this Electrolyze here. Irrigated farmland gets us there. Uh, it's probably just Magma Jet. We're probably going to keep on our... Keep on our blue-red plan. Hmm. 
Varaska. PNLR. See, she's got the border. She knows what's up. Or is it Grim Lava Mancer? All of the MTG printed legendaries now have the new border as of the silent update. Well, but like some of them don't though. That's what we're going. That's what we're saying. Like Karanos doesn't, right? Like, so that's wasn't that what we were talking about? Um, I like PNLR here. Oh, your boy came back. I'm definitely taking a Tali. The best part about a Tali. Okay, well, this deck is building itself. Um. Let's just take the Greater Gargadon. Alright. Fork Bolt is fine. That's a playable card. Are we not blue? I think there are any other type of card besides... Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Okay, so if there are any other type of card besides just a creature, they don't have it. So that would make sense for Karanos. <coughs> um... And they don't have a promo printing for MTGO. They always have the border. Okay, so if they don't have a promo printing. Interesting. Hmm. I'm intrigued. Kona Flame is actually very good for us yesterday. What up, Dreadming? No, no ASMR stream, unfortunately. No, no ice eating on stream. Wow, our deck looks good, but it doesn't look very blue, which is interesting. What do we got here? Jason the Mind Sculptor. No, just kidding. Um, Riffling Cloud Skate seems fine. I like it better than Vendillion Click for sure. Firecraft is also good. <clears throat> so let's see if it holds up here. Any legendaries? Vendillion Click is a legendary, but it has a promo printing. So it no, I guess no border. That's weird. I don't know why that would be the reason. Also, Alesh Norn. I don't think that does have a promo printing. I mean, it has the 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 judge promo, but it's not online, right? Oh, Iconic Masters and Modern Masters 2015. All right, I guess that was printed a bunch then. Huh. That's still weird, though. Why? I wonder. I mean, I'd rather take Riftwing Cloudscape than take a Blasphemous Act, which is not that playable, and hope for Boros Reckoner, which is also very difficult to cast in our deck. I just, I would just rather take the, the card that's very good for our deck. Oh, well, here you go. How ironic. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> hi -oh. I think it's actually Thunderbreak region here. I like Searing Blaze, but I don't want to, like double red that early if I don't have to and this is a, just a nice this is just a nice dude a man can dream well you didn't have to dream that hard buddy man these red cards are crazy good zealous conscripts goblin rival master and stagger shock and even outpost siege is pretty reasonable Would love some red-blue fixing because we had a lot of doubles right now. You're a two-drop. I think it's actually just Rabble Master. I mean, Zealous Conscript is actually pretty busted. Can't <laughs> take the Banefire and Azor's Gateway might wheel. Yeah, and you're not wrong. I think Rabble Master is just a better card. Probably conscripts though. Oh, I like red cap and I also do like Hellrider. I don't know if we're a Hellrider deck though. I don't think we are. I think we're a red cap deck. Also, Temporal Master would be great if that wheeled. Uh, Ferocidon's great. I don't think we're a Ferocidon deck. We're not really the aggressive red deck. We're kind of like a mid rangey controlling the board type red deck, which is just fine with me.
Oh, that's perfect. God, Steam Vince, you're looking good. Looking good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three cards are coming back. If Pilgrim's Eye is one of them, I'll be like a pig in poops. Yeah, I, I think I probably wouldn't hate Greater Gargadon. If, like, I have to play it, I have to play it. Uh, Collector Defiance, Tamio. I am a big fan of Dead Gone. God, it's not moving. Why do you keep moving? I'm not a big Collector Defiance fan. I do like Tamio. I do like Dead Gone. We have Forked Bolt and Magma Jet. I think Tamiyo is the stronger card uh, by a large margin. Oh, Jace, Architect of Thought, and Chandra Pyromaster. These are both very, very good four drop planeswalkers. Hmm. I think it's actually Jace. Gosh, Chandra's good at picking things off. I'm going to go Chandra. Oh, Dire Fleet, Daredevil, Young Pyromancer, and Release the Gremlins. Boy. These picks have been great. Last time we took Young Pyromancer. Um, are we still a Young Pyromancer deck? Let's find out. I don't think so. We only have four sorceries. We're going to take Dire Fleet, Daredevil. Azora's Gateway it did come back. So did Exquisite Firecraft, which is just great for us. I don't know what we took there. We took a Sacred Foundry. Oh my god, Magic Online, dude. That's really annoying. <sighs> I actually kind of like Crystal Shard here. Isn't that weird? <laughs> you guys are going to think it's funny. We can bounce our Zealous Conscripts, our Murderous Red Crap, our Dire Fleet Devil, our Reflecting Cloud Skate. I'm going to take the Crystal Shard. We're going to Crystal Shard this time. Goblin Rock. Every card we wanted came back. Every card. Reckoner is great. No one's arguing that. Um, Brian. Uh, uh, I think it's Ravel Master. We don't have a ton of creatures. Hellrider came back. All right. So maybe they're just, they just really want us to be mono blue, I guess. I like this because we took the Chandra Power Master. All right, our deck's done. This is unbelievable, dude. We're the only we are the only red drafter in this in this in this pod. Oh my god. This deck is unbelievable. I can't even right now. I'm tempted to take the blue cards out. Can we do that? Splash Karanos off of the... Uh... Good lord. It's Carry Zev, even if like there's no blue cards in here. So it's just 100% Carry Zev. And Whip Flare was a sideboard card. Bonfire, Brimstone, Scalding Tarn. I, thought, I like Scalding Tarn here a lot. I mean... Seeing this, seeing this, this pod bonfire is coming back. So we're just gonna take the scalding tarn. Also lets us get sacred foundry. So that's pretty good. This deck is ridiculous. <laughs> the good Chandra. Wow. All right, we'll take that. Sure, 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 sure. PN Karen LR. How many four Oh, is it Signet? I do like an is it Signet. Like a lot. Especially when we have this many four drops. Yeah, is it Signet's definitely the pick here. Ideally, this one of these two will come back, and we know they will, so.
And I would also probably play Electrolyze, so. I can see cutting all of the other ones because they're all double blue, except for Riftwing Cloudscape, which you can play for for two. But, hey, how many Chandra's is too many? Well, this many. This many is too many. None of these cards are any good, though. Probably just Ancient Grudge for the sideboard. We didn't. I don't think we... I think the release of the Gremlins was in this pack, so we might get it back. We'll probably get it back. We could also just take Sphinx's Red, but we're not going to be double blue and white, so... And we'll just take Ancient Grudge. Lash Out and Flame Slash. And a ma oh, Shrine. All right, Shrine it is. I think Shrine is better than both of these. They have to have the answer for that. Mizium Mortars. Also, actually, Sovereign. That's I think it's Sky Sovereign Council Flagship. This card's probably better than Mizium Mortars here. Burst Lightning. Yes, please. All right, deck's done. We have Steam Vent, Scalding Tarn. We'll probably play one island. And that's four sources of blue for two two blue cards. Seems reasonable. And we're also probably going to get a release the Gremlins back. I don't like Blasting Cannons. I think it's the worst one of those of those effects. I, I, I like Chandra Pyromaster better. And I like Outpost Siege a lot better. So Both of those let you play lands. Because um, they just say you may play the card. Not that you may cast the card. And Outpost... Vance's uh, Blasting Station doesn't let you actually... Because it, it says you may cast that card. And I think Blasting Cannons is the weakest one. You're, you, it's, you're very rarely going to flip it, if ever. Thank God you're on today. It's parent-teacher conferences. I'm stuck in my classroom until 7 p.m. with only the occasional visit from parents. Wow. That sounds terrible. I'm so sorry for you, buddy. Gamma okay, said, we got you. All right, so no, we'll just take Sword of War and Peace here. That's a playable card. And lots of fine things. We don't have any black cards. We could actually play Dragon Skull Summit and Sacred Foundry and splash the Soren. <laughs> We're not doing that. Sweltering Suns goes well with our. Uh, with our Whip Flare. And our Cone of Flame. Circle of Flame. Cone of Flame. There we go. We did get both of them back. Of course we did. Um, I think P and Kieran Alar is actually better than Murderous Redcap here. And I don't think we're... Well, maybe we are a Stromkirk Noble deck now. This is actually a tough pick. Sure. Why not? Wow. All right, well, unbelievable. <laughs> Actual unbelievable. Yeah, I like the Stromkirk Noble just because we do have similar effects for our four-drop slot. Yeah, this deck seems fun. Uh, I'm probably going to take out the Abbot of Carol Keep over the... I like having Lash Out because we don't actually have that much early spot removal. We just have Electrolyze. Eh, maybe we do, but I don't think that matters. I think I'd rather just take out the Abbot. And we need one other cut. I mean, we could probably do 16 lands with this deck. We have two six drops and three five drops, though. That's pretty rough. But, we have Vincent Signet. I could see going 16 with this deck. Twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen, and we get one island just so we can, if they path us, we can search it out. So, all right, let's do it. I feel like we've drafted blue, red, or uh, well, blue X, but blue, red mostly a lot of times, and it's always pretty good. There's also a lot of card advantage for a red deck, right? We have like Karanos, we have Chandra, we have other Chandra, Electrolyze. I just want to play this guy one time. Come on.
I will play first. Oh, beautiful. This hand is gas. Steam Venturinos. Oh god, something ice chewing this way comes. We actually did open. We opened a Jace Bellerin. And we opened a Jace Architect of Thought. Glint Sleeve Siphoner, huh? Alright. I, I, I'm on to you. Then we get to scry? Oh boy. Here he comes. There we go. I guess it's just, I guess we keep both of these. Both of these seem good. And we have enough mana for a tolly, so I'll put you on top and I'll put you on top of that. Play something stupid so I can... Oh, that's real sad that you would do that. Well, that was unfortunate. I don't know, man. It's like turn four. I hope they don't have a removal spell. Yeah. Yep, they always do. Hunter, stop! Alright, we did it. Sorry, he's spinning and making lots of noises. Well, you know, there's a shot. Oh my god, what? They just literally passed the turn? Never never a dull moment around here, guys. Never a dull moment. Well, I'm not going to play it now. I'll just pass. No, well, that's a dude. Gross. They don't, there's no way they block here, so that's good. Is it good? I don't know. Bye, bye, little Natale. I wonder what Natale's activation looks like. I've never seen it. I don't know. It's legendary. Also, Mike literally just rolled out of bed at 3 p.m., so... I don't understand how he functions as a human being, but, you know. Different strokes for different folks, as they say. We're just going to do this in tenue. Seems good. And technically, they would be at three if we actually got that extra hitting with the Chandra's Flame Blazer. Chandra's flame blazer. I just made that name up. Here we go. Something something brutal. Wow, three two and then one to my face. I would classify that as brutal. Hey, that's pretty good. Do we hope our top card is more expensive? Swamp Electrolyze. It is. Keep it on top. Get our Phoenix back. And you're dead. <laughs> right. Good times. Good times. Everybody's having a good time here on the mic. It was a little bit of a sneaky win, but it was a win. How was it sneaky? What was sneaky about it, Mitchell? It felt like he was, in, he was ahead, you know? It felt like he was... Oh, I see. The win itself was sneaky. Yeah. It kind of snuck up on you. I gotcha. I never feared. Man, this new border looks so good. I like it a lot. 
they really stand out. They pop. It's got some pop to them. Um, yeah. So we were blue. We were blue red, and then like most of the the blue dried up. Like we had Jace, we had Search, and Riftwing Cloudscape, and then like all the red cards we wanted just kept tabling. The last picks were like four good red cards, and we're like, all right, well, I guess we'll do this again. Yeah, it seems like either someone's playing mono red or no one's playing. It's mono li- red. <laughs> that's literally it. Yeah. Oh man. Karanos didn't get a border apparently because it's also an enchantment. So, I don't know. That's Where weird. Does to that me. matter? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird to me, but whatever. All right. So, we saw a five four. We saw a cone of flame. What else did we see? Lightning bolt. That was a good one. And thought seize. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, but Sky Sovereign gets one. That's a legendary artifact, so I guess Moonscone's theory is incorrect, right? Well, maybe it's just enchantments. Why would a legendary enchantment not get one, but a legendary artifact would get one? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. If they have another card type right now, they didn't get the new border. This is a legend. This is not. I don't get it. Artifact is heroic. What is that? What the hell does that mean? Uh, you mean historic, not heroic. I think we're just submitting like this. I kind of like the brimstone volley just because it kills their five four. True. True. <laughs> My name is Michael. That's how you sound. Probably not, cut lash out for it. How dare you? I don't. I think we're fine. I don't care. I don't think we've seen enough. Uh, I don't think we've seen enough to... Uh, oh, God. The two five drops and a six drop in our 16 land deck. YOLO. <laughs> this is green. Charm. Signet was, was what I meant, but all right. Hunter. Oh, is it the licking? Every... Always. Like, literal always. Hey, you guys are streaming? All right. I'm going to start licking my whole body right now. All right. Can you not do that instead? Is that an option? Any land here is great. Then we get to electrolyze into another land, and then we get to Thunderbreak region into another land. JK, that doesn't actually give you another land. Oh, we're so good at this game. Magok! We got two chickens in our hand right now. And a, and a metal chicken. Fly, chicken. Chicken, fly. Look at all those chickens. Look, Frank, they can't even get art on all these cards yet. Don't down those expectations. <laughs> oh, God, it's sad because it's true. Whatever, keep getting in there. They never block. Look, kitty. Can you just not block? Or can you just block? Not block? I don't know. I want to actually burn his face now because I want to hit a land, but... I just did. I just... I said two. They're both going at your stupid face. Your stupid, ugly face. Uh, allegations is your name. It's rude, man. Can we add the chicken dance as a sound effect? No. No way. That's ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. They have three cards in hand and a clue. All right. Boy, this electrolyze would have been a lot better on this guy. I will also take a forked bolt. That'll do. Old Bursty McGursty. His name is my name, too. Y'all talking about Bursty McGursty? Yeah. That's all Burst McGurst. That's where they lightning bolt in response. Because they never don't have it. Lightning bolt. Yeah. Amazing. That seemed actually pretty bad. If you killed one of these, if you killed this guy, I would understand, but... Like, even if I get this guy back, it still takes it off the board.
every day. Why does Italian have like a red with... A I don't know. It's weird, right? Oh, now you want to... Oh, you just cone a flame every game. That seems good. We're all very proud of you. <laughs> He's so sassy. <laughs> Old sass McGass. Oh, no attacks, huh? I like it. No, no anythings. Seems all right. It's all right. It's okay. All right. Do we just exile? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, and we get this guy back? I totally forgot about that. I'm just going to attack if you want to attack Chandra. That's fine. Our hand is so stacked. And you're at six. You're basically dead. Monastery Smentor. Smentor, the fresh maker. It doesn't sound fresh. You don't sound fresh. Got him. <laughs> you know, I'd argue, but you played the sound effects. So you I can't think, argue with that. I think, yeah. Oh, a deck in stone. Wow, you go to three here? Chandra literally puts you to two? But you know I have this. I'm so confused right now. Maybe he just wants to die. You literally saw me get this guy back. That was a very weird series of plays. Now, I know you might be tempted to play an extra uh, card, but don't. <laughs> okay, I'll just kill you. That was good. I don't know if I, I feel about that, but... You discovered the mono-red technology. Now you're a monster. Now I <laughs> I am the monster. I've always tried... I've tried my whole life not to be this monster, but here we are. Well... Either die or live long enough to become the villain. That's true. You die long enough to become the mono red monster. I will play first. I will keep this hand. Hey man, think of a day. Any day. Give me one day. Any day. Tuesday. Nope, I'll keep this hand then. Wednesday? Nope, oh, keeping it then. Okay. I'll keep it any day. Would you keep it on Chicken Sunday? Every day is Chicken Sunday, so yes. Good job. You've passed the test. There's no test. I'm actually tempted to just get Scalding Tarn here. Or get, just get... um. Actually, I guess we can just get Mountain. We don't need Double Blue. Yeah. I just want to crack it because we have 16 lands, and I don't really want to draw more lands than this because this is all the lands I've ever wanted. Hey, Frank, I saw your review on Kamal's Druidic Vow. I like that card, too, and feel like it's underrated. You can use it to get Garna and Samut, whom give all your hits haste so that you can cast Vow and win on the same turn. Okay, well, you just got a little crazier than I did, but I appreciate it. Look at you attacking with a pirate, a chicken, and a monkey. <laughs> That's a good. This is a good board, uh, the old pirate chicken monkey board. They actually did force us to do it. I agree with you. I I tried. I literally tried to take the blue cards, and they're like, no, no, here. Have this PN Kieran Alar and this Stromkirk Noble in the same pack. And I was like, okay, if you insist. Oh, that's the one you get rid of? Interesting. Don't you know this guy keeps coming back forever? It's a pirate, a chicken, and a monkey. That is my pirate chicken monkey crew. So they're technically at 11. This is 3, 4, 5. So they're technically at 6. If they play a 6 power guy... Oh, oh that's actually good with Electrolyze, though. Hmm. Electrolyze. I just killed the, the, the bird nerds, right? Yes, I do believe you should kill the bird nerds. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Give me, like, a Karen... Oh. Uh, mountain. Oh. That's a good one. Yeah, woof woof. 
You take seven and go to six here? That's pretty good. I think they might be dead. That was a... Uh, I think some food just got dropped off. What was the Mountain Dew commercial? Puppy Monkey Baby? I have no idea what you're saying right now. Sounds interesting. You sound interesting. Was that giant thing from Amazon a robot? Uh, <laughs> uh, close. A dog food. Oh, dang. Yeah, it was either a robot or dog food. It's a real tall box, but it's like a 40-pound bag of dog food, so... That was a good guess, though. They're trying to figure out how they don't die here. And I'll be honest with you, I don't think there's a way. Although, also the red matches, like when we draft the red deck, it's always really quick. Oh, that's, you're still dead. Oh, wow. Aggressive. Oh, I guess you can't block, so that ain't that aggressive, I guess. <laughs> I just hope you don't have a rule spell or a counter spell, I guess. Those are my hopes and dreams. My hopes. Also, this is a human, and you can't... Oh, all right, cool. And you can't block it with this. Oh, we could have... Oh, we're always so close to the dream. Why do I get so mad when I lose before I can... When I win before I can... I, like, when I win... If it's before I do cool things. But I didn't get to do my cool combo. It's such an I still had all these moment. You're like, oh, but I still had all these and I didn't get to utilize my... I didn't get to form Exodia. <laughs> so. Oh, God. What is this? <laughs> this is uncomfortable. How could three things that are cute combined make the most the world's greatest monster? No, that commercial is hideous. It needs to not <laughs> exist. We have had no problems with anything. Look at this hand. This hand's great. That I don't know why that commercial exists. That's terrible. What up, J Dub? Anyone can post links. We've only just begun to live. What do you think is better, signets or talismans? What's a talisman? Uh, like the Mirrodin one, so you can tap for a colorless. Or you can tap for a color, but they deal you a damage. Oh, signets. Oh, they missed a land drop. Oh, boy. I guess the upside of talisman is you control the mana better. Uh, you can also tap, like, if you tap it on turn two, if you play it on turn two, you can still add a mana. So you can keep, like, a force spike up if you wanted to. Oh, they missed two land drops. All right, well, we have infinite four and five drops, so maybe we hit one? No, just a magma jet. If we just get to play a Chandra before they hit their third land drop, it's probably done. Oh, they did it. They did it. Oh, man. Like, they just hit blue at the perfect moment for a counterspell. That's sad. Puppy baby monkey. Oh! Oh! I'm going to keep both of these because I think they're both good. I'm just going to play Ravel Master here instead. Ravel dabble, do you? Rabble dabble, do you? I just want to go to my combat step. I'm actually. Oh, it's a return of creature you don't control. Okay. So you can't bounce your own guy with this. That'd be sweet, though. So long, buddy. I'll miss you. He never lives. What are the chances of pumping, pumping monkey baby a moat? Uh, negative 10, I think. Negative 10%. Any thoughts on Jeskai Kiki? Not really. No. I, I, um, there, so there's certain decks like that, like collected company, like with the, uh, no, the collected company combo with Vizier, like, 
I just don't think of these decks regularly. I have no thoughts on them. They don't pop into my head. I don't I don't spend a lot of time. You discard a land and then you miss the land drop? Hmm. The greed is real. A bold strategy, Cotton. Hey, look, it's a boat. Boaty Bink Boat Boat. Okay. Oh, go. wow. Super rude. <sighs> Is it time? Do we just do it? Probably. Oh, wow. It could have probably resolved turns ago. Well, one turn ago, specifically. Yes. <laughs> no, two turns ago. Because last turn was turn six, and we haven't missed a land drop yet. This is actually the first turn we missed the land drop. So we actually had six mana on turn five because of the signet. Oh. Puppy baby monkey. Have you also noticed the braid being played more in modern lately? Um, mm, I have not noticed it, but it wouldn't surprise me. Oh, they had the charm. That's true. That's a good point. So we didn't run into the charm, and then they charmed, and they throw planes away and missed the land drop, and that was very strange. Sure. Oh, that's sad. As a red deck, we don't really have many answers for that. Oh my god. That's a sad meatball. We have 16 lands in our deck. Why are we hitting them all? Actually, I'm just going to electrolyze your face here. Uh, and we're going to keep Karanos mana up. Alright. I'm not going to play it, but... I mean, they have to eventually play some dumb idiot, right? No, I, I, you'd think so. Inferno Titan would be great. Tap out for an Inferno Titan. Thank you. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even... You can't even oh, ask for... they're literally just dead. You can't even ask for a better outcome. Yep, that's, that's death. Well, that was nice. Wow, I love it that they actually accommodated us. That was super... How, how nice of them. Uh, universe is simulation, guys. Can someone please clip that? BioVisionary is not here, so. Yep. Had a good time. Whoo, boy. Man, that match was quick, boy. Yeah, we're in round three, and it's only been 44 minutes uh, for two matches and a draft so far, so. That was... <laughs> Can you just tap out for an Inferno Titan? <laughs> There's an Inferno Titan. Okay, well, you got it. All right. Thanks, Boos. That was... <sighs> the exact card. Could have been a Frost Titan. Could have been a Sun Titan. They would have lived if it was any of those Titans. Would have went to one. Had to be the Inferno. The one that we called. Unbelievable. Universe is a simulation, guys. Just keep in mind. I will play first because, boy, ah, oh, my my stir const is out of date. Server abd four e nine three one slash client e seven one four nine three five four. I hate it when that happens. Oh yeah, all the time. You ever have that happen, to you man? You get to yeah. a certain age and you're just your stir const is out of date every time. It's super annoying. All right, let's see what this is. Let's check out this clip. <laughs> oh, that's gas. You guys are great. I'll have to compare these clips just to make sure. Make sure one isn't better than the other. Oh, my God. You guys are great. Uh, Do I hit? Yes. Okay, so it's third.
Thank you guys for clipping this. Really appreciate it. Oh, no. Quacker, I can't find your clip now. It said something went wrong. Did you delete it out of shame? All right, so this hand just got remarkably better thanks to this mountain. I want to be on YouTube. <laughs> So I don't want to play Rabble Master into you, but I also just want to kind of burst lightning you as well. So I guess we'll play chicken here. And next turn, if we draw land, we can burst lightning you. Hey, the little chicken guy. Oh, the little chick. He's still licking. It's unbelievable. Nonstop lickage. This is the package I got today. I have to figure out how to open it, though. Blade Splicer is pretty good. But I guess they just get a 2-2 out of it. That's not a big deal. I don't know how to open it, and I don't want to damage it because it's a comic, so... Get out of here. Why are you going to come sniff around? Because I'm opening a comic box. That's weird. Don't be weird. Okay. Kill you. I guess we'll lash you out first. I have to put you on the bottom, unfortunately, because I have no fourth land. Let's see where this Adanto Vanguard they have goes. And they take three. What up, Spider View? They did not like their Adanto Vanguard. Chandra's Phoenix is actually a very powerful card. Being able to bring it back when an instant, a sorcery, or a red planeswalker dealt them damage, that's that's a lot. Oh, a glorious anthem. I see. Land? Not a land. Well, whatever, make a guy. It'll die. Uh, the comic is, it's a Thanos number 17 variant cover with uh, an homage to Silver Surfer number 4. Let's see if I can get it open. I don't think there's a, like a... Oh, here we go. Alright. We figured it out. Our opponents might might have the more aggressive deck. We also have uh, Whip Flare on the sideboard, which is nice. And Cone of Flame. I'll just take 7 here. All right, we figured out how to open this bad boy. It's very complicated. It is, but it's like it's good because uh, it protects the corners, which is the important part. Yeah, we did it. All right. And it's our turn, and I'm messing with comics over here. All right. It is, uh, is this guy. Corner's looking good. Yeah, looking fresh. All right. Make sure you guys can see this. A little, little Thanos number scene. A little 17 variant cover, uh, which is an homage to the Silver Surfer number four from, like, 1973 or something. Uh, land. That is a land. I will take it. You have double strike. That's a little scary. How much do we deal? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can put you to four. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm. And then we just died to infinite idiots. Uh, it is the Cosmic Ghost Rider storyline. That is correct, Ni Moon Knight. <laughs> I called Mark Spector Moon Knight. <laughs> that was good times. Um, God, I don't know what to do here. All your guys are really big. What does it say? At the beginning of your end step, if you burn it, you get a counter. Okay, so it's a, this is going to be a six. We have to double block both of these. We have to block both of these. I guess we can block with you. The goblin token is going to die. Yeah, I think we just have to Hellrider and chump with it. If we get if we can if we can land Zealous Conscripts next turn, we're in good shape. But hmm. 
if we don't die in the meantime. Yep. Get some of this tape off here. Like you do. That was a good looking. That was a good looking variant. You can put that over there with the other, the other ish, the other issues. They have three three cards. We're hoping they're not removal. So. Yeah, Chandra for negative four would be great. If they don't pump this to double strike, we can also just block here and take seven. So. All right, so they can't pump this to seven, so that's okay. I'm not dead yet. One down, one down. This guy just wins us the game, right? Straight up. Hard to say. Mm hmm. Gonna jump block you. Taking a million damage. Going to one. Mirror entity, huh? All right, we win. Oh, we don't win, actually. Oh, that's unfortunate. Because this is a 1-1 one, one when it comes to so it's only going to go 6. That's really sad. Maybe they don't realize that, though. Hmm. Is there a card we can take here that does well for us? <laughs> nope, won't work. Yes, I am aware. Thank you. <laughs> like why why are you telling me that oh my god hmm What does taking Anthem do? I mean, if they didn't have a blocker, that would work, but they do, so. He might not block. Um, I highly doubt that. So, actually, that's what I hoped you would do, but I don't think it matters. Yep. All right. Next game. Bring in Whip Flare. All right. Whip Flare comes in. Take out Strom. Actually, Strom could look good. They have a ton of humans. And it could get out of the range of Whip Flare. Cone of Flame? What? Cone could be good. Probably. Eh. I don't know if it's better than Sky Sovereign. Yep. Sweltering Sun's probably also coming in. Probably take a boat. It's pretty slow. I mean, it's just as slow as Conan Flame. But I mean, it kills. It still kills two dudes. Um. Take out Daredevil. Yeah, we're bringing in Sword. 
We got it, guys. Think about sword and sweltering suns here. Should be good. Take out Rabble Master. You're gonna get blocked by a bunch of stuff. Take out probably. Oh God, I like Atali though. He's. I just want to play the Atali one time. Take out one Chandra. All right, seems good. This hand seems great. On the play, no less. This Stromkirk Noble is going to do some business. Or not. <laughs> oh, it, it, we're back in business, boys. <laughs> Dogs greater than vampires. False. <laughs> no. Incorrect. Isamaru is $9. Is that a good commander? Is that a good dude? A good commander dude? It's a good boy. Is this a spirit? All right, well... Yeah, that's fine. Well, we're not going to attack here because I don't feel like throwing my guy away. He's probably catching one, one card each turn. So if we get a clue, we want to be able to crack it on their turn. Oh, for Mox Amber? That's weird, man. That would be good. That will be good at, at some point. In the future. Any land. Any land, we're good. Any blue land, and we're even better. Tiny leaders. <laughs> Whatever that means. That was certainly a format for a day. Oh, I remember the day well. Michael. Do you remember Tiny Leaders? I'll never forget. Really? Nah, I probably will. Oh, that's sad. All right. Well, are you gonna kill my carry, Zev? I had a feeling you might. Land. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Poor chicken skies. <laughs> You gonna manatize me? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Boy. Our opponent, our opponent something here. King Kitten, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I love it when they say gotcha in the chat after they... After they manatide you. Wanna try again? Got another Do the other white counter no? spell. No? The one okay. that puts it on top. Jump and shoot man. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Soul Tide Brood. Appreciate your return. Jump and shoot man. Nah, we'll keep you home. Really? Yeah, because if they have any answer for this, I don't want Chandra to die. So I'd rather have two two answers. I'd rather save one point and, and have another way to protect Chandra than, than have Chandra die because they had one removal spell. Oh, Matthew Ori with a Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. Keep this Keep the sub train rolling, boys. I love it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh-oh. See Oblivion Ring. Glorious Anthem. Sure. Sean Stoppable. My boy, Sean Mitchell. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Good, sir. I'm just going to add two. 
And I'm going to crack this clue with the two. And Magma Jetu. <coughs> Does everyone know if you have... Yeah, if you guys... If you go to Amazon Prime... If you have Amazon Prime right now, you can get 500 bits for 99 cents. So I would highly recommend that. It's a great way to support streamers. Not just myself, but anybody else who, who you watch. Yeah, that's good, but... Yeah, it's good. That's the end of the, that's the end of it. That is the end of the sentence, yeah. That's good, but no. Nope. It's also very good glorious anthem. It's not bad. Oh, they didn't attack here. No, they're going to wait till the next turn to attack. No, they're dead. <laughs> Does that kill them? So they take f Yeah, they're just dead here. My hell rider. It's one ninety nine Canadian. Twitch really thinks our dollar is worth. You know what? Make him pay twice as much. This is a human. Oh, that's not a human. That's a spirit. All right, whatever. My bad. I should say gotcha in the chat. I'll put both of these on top. Top and top. Okay, you're dead. Matthew Orr with the fire bitch. Shamrock, 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 shamrock. Victory bits. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome, buddy. Um, I wish I as a blue as a blue red deck. I wish I had a way to deal with the glorious anthem, but victory bits, victory bits. Why don't you sh shut your mouth and eat some bits? No, yeah, it was close. <laughs> chocolate rain is quite. I don't think chocolate rain is an album, buddy. Unless you're referring to the one you made, but I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's ready for the public for public consumption. I think this is fine. I think our deck's good. I don't know. What are bits for? They're just uh, they're ways to support streamers. Um, they're like how do, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Um, there it's it's like currency you can buy from Twitch and then you can give them you can gift them to uh, streamers. So here's the problem. I want to kill this now because we've seen Mana Tithe. So if they go planes. Oh my god, all the bits. Unseen Spectre Amped. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Alright. So, okay, well. <laughs> which Wazi employee would you want to fight IRL and why? Oh my god. Um, That's an interesting question. That is an interesting question. Let me think about that. So I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to kill this Kitchen Finks, this, this guy now. Mind your business. <laughs> oh my god. Because if if they go untapped, pump with one mana, and then they have mana tithe, then we don't get to kill it, which is really sad. So I'm just going to kill it now. I, I did. I called it a Kitchen Finks. I meant Kith... And I was thinking Kithkin, and it's a figure of destiny. I've never done this before. Am I doing it right? Yes, you are doing it right. That is... You, you are, you're doing just fine. No, apparently Amp gave me 100 bits, so you're going to have to break out that dollar and give it to me, and then I'll give it back oh, to God, you. Oh, God, this is such an ordeal. <laughs> I'm just sending bits because everyone else is doing it. Mike B is a chicken. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. I got the menu I got the Minusio, though. I guess we can just kill one of them. I don't know if I like that. 13 bits. Okay. <laughs> No, this is how you do it, so it looks more like... Oh, my God. It looks it looks like more... Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, just do them by one. Then you, There you go. Oh, boy. I just want a fork bolt so I can attack, but I also just want a PNLR. I think it's PNLR here. That seems better. I 
I just play red legendary ladies. That's all I do with these. So I attack. First strike kills you. You kill carries it. That doesn't seem great. You do still owe Frank 45 cents for your birthday still. Yeah, I gave you that 45 cents, you stingy Wait, gentleman. if you give it to me, then how do I owe it? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I let you borrow it. Uh, well, I wasn't aware of that. Well, maybe you should have. Beer Man Man, thank you so much. Welcome back, buddy. Good seeing you. Again, as always. Oh, God, please give me a land so I can just murder that immediately. Just one land. All I wanted was a Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. Yes! Oh, God. Oh, goodness gracious. She All just, I wanted was a Pepsi. She wouldn't give it to me. Just a freaking Pepsi. Just one Pepsi. Do we still owe Juposhi a special snip draft? I don't know what happened to Juposhi. I haven't seen Juposhi in a while. If you guys, if you guys ever see Juposhi again, let me know because then I, we can do a snip for him. But I just haven't seen Juposhi, so. Wow, you guys are going real crazy with the uh, with the bits here, which is kind of awesome. I'm not going to actually complain because you're all amazing and supportive, and I and I love you. I will 1,000% block with a thopter in order to save save the cheerleader, save the world. Is this wow? No beats. Wow, wow, wow. All right, that's annoying too. If those are cheers. Cheers are different than bits, right? You're different than bits. Hmm. Did you know that? Did you know that about yourself? Oh my god, we can actually plus Chandra to play other Chandra. Oh my god, hold on. This is going to be amazing. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Do they have mana tithe? That is the question. I guess we're going to find out. Well, we can, we can play around that. I just want to fork bolt this and this, so I only have to two. See if it works. Oh, it worked. So now... Chandra for two. Wipe your board. Keep carries out. I can't keep up with these bits, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys are awesome and I love you. <laughs> now we get to keep double Chandra on board. That's pretty good, right? So we have the old double Chandra carry Zev board. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much. They didn't play anything? This is very strange. I'll play a land. We'll exile the top card, see what happens. It was a mountain. We'll Hell Rider here. We'll make these guys. And this is actually probably the end. I can't imagine you're alive after this. And, uh, <laughs> oh, 10 out of 10 would, would lose again. All right, we did it. Wow. Hey, look, it was a red deck and it was 3 0. That's amazing. Hmm. It feels sad that we just discovered how powerful the red deck is on the eve of Dominaria. But maybe that's fitting. Thank you guys so much for the cheers. Thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. I'll see you guys next time.